using the other one okay. so you'll be a Brendan's gonna monitor for him okay so just run out this way okay if there's anything but if yeah perfect yeah, that's right. okay With high school, it's like it, they're just it, pumping. But in, when she was in elementary and junior high, all the teachers worked with her. They were nice about it. But by high school, there's so many kids that just don't care. And yeah. I was like, just take your, you're so smart. Let's just take it, see if you pass it. She passed it. Like, and got a really good score. It, yeah, she passed it with like college ready in every category the first time. Well, and now she can do what she wants. So exactly. She's she's better off that way. Mm -hmm. Okay. I know Laura is your first name, right? Yeah. L A U R. L O R I. Okay. And then what's your last name? Vallo. V A L L O W. And your date of birth? And your phone number? And you live at the house, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I know this sounds silly, mm -hmm. um, but. It's probably the easiest way to start mm -hmm. um, is just to tell me what happened. And then, so you can start what makes the most sense to you and we'll just work our way through and I'll probably, I'm gonna ask you a bunch of questions just to kind of clarify. Sure. So I know you talked to the initial patrol officer. Um, and, and he just got information. He oh, okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you can just kind of tell me kind of what happened. It sounds like some of this may have started last night or something along those lines. Right. So start where you think it makes the most sense okay so um <laughs> I, don't I told you it's yeah. a crazy question <laughs> well so we moved into this house three weeks ago because he offered to get me a house here where all my family is okay. when we were in houston and um so he's like we had decided to separate or whatever so mm -hmm. we he's like well i'll pay for a house for you and for JJ and whatever because he's all about JJ. He's never about Tyler, but he's all mm -hmm. about JJ. Because mm -hmm. we adopted him together. He's okay. his great nephew. We adopted him as a okay. baby. And, and so we adopted him as a baby and so we've been raising him together. And he travels all the time for business so he's used to just going back and forth. So he's always gone like Monday through Friday. So he came when we first moved in and brought me stuff from Houston like a U-Haul. And then he hasn't been back. But it's all these threats on my phone all the time, you know, like whatever, all these things. And then he told like, me. What kind of threats? Just. Uh, you'd have to read them to okay. see, but he's always mad at me, right? Okay. And he doesn't want a divorce, but I don't like him and don't want to deal with him. So <laughs> that's just how it is. So, yeah. so we married for 14 years, we've dealt with it for 14 years, and him being horrible to her. Like, he gets in huge fights with her, he, yeah, a lot of things. But anyway, so he said, I'm coming Wednesday night, all of a sudden. I'm not, I want to see JJ. And I told him, I said, I will never keep JJ from you. You can come see him whenever you want to, come take him to school, whatever. Like, I'm not going to do that. So when you initially moved, he had said he was going to buy you a house. So you moved here with your... Yeah, business. he was going to rent us a house. And so we moved... All my family lives here. So right. we lived here for a long time. Okay. And then he moved us to Houston. Okay. And we were there with my son. He was out of school. He didn't have any of his, like, services, his DDD, his yeah. anything. He, like, ripped him out of school and said, we're moving. Okay. And I didn't go with him at first. And he took him. And I let him take him, uh -huh. and I didn't file anything or whatever. And then he filed something against me and said, I'm only going to get supervised visits because I'm crazy and blah, 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 you know, the story. And so I just didn't talk to him for like 30 days and uh -huh. let him take care of him and let him see what I've been doing for yeah. the past seven years because men need to do that. You know, I have five kids. Yeah. I have grown kids. I have grandkids. Yeah. Like, 
threatened. Okay, you're going to threaten me that you're not going to let me see my child without supervised visitation? Okay. okay, do it for 30 days and see how long it lasts. You're right. begging me to come pick him up. Yeah. But she did. <laughs> She's like, come back and blah, blah, blah. So I moved in with them to Houston okay. to, for the family, you know, and yeah. Tyler went with me. We drove to Houston from here and left all our family and all his support, all my yeah. son's support, like his cousins, everything. And we were there, and we, I enrolled him in school there. I tried to start all his services, and it takes forever. Yeah. You know, it takes so mm -hmm. long to get that done. There's, he, no, there's no easy transfer. There's anything. no easy transfer. You start state from the to state, It's a totally new thing. Yeah. And he didn't do any of it mm -hmm. in those 30 days. So he just should have gone without services, without even applying. And I'm like, do you even realize? Because he didn't ever do it in the mm -hmm. first place. I did it. Long story. <laughs> I'll keep it short. <laughs> he hasn't been here in a couple weeks since we moved in. Okay. He came. He was very nasty when he was there, and, but he travels for business. So he went back to the Houston house, okay. and he's like, I'm coming on Wednesday night, and I'm going to come pick up JJ and take him to school Thursday. Pick him up Thursday, take him Friday, whatever. And I said, Casey wanted to come to the house. And I said, you can't come stay at this house because you can't get along with Tylee. She's a minor. She has to live here. Yeah. So you, because he gets in huge fights up there. Okay. And she hates him. <laughs> and so I'm like, you can't stay at the house so I will book you a hotel because he stays in hotels all the time because he travels for business mm -hmm. and the business pays for it right uh -huh. so I said I will book you a hotel nearby what does he do he works with teachers in their retirement plans but he goes to them but there's oh, okay. he mostly works in California okay no matter where we live and we okay. lived in Hawaii he had work in California he'd work in Texas he has like books of business in okay. different areas and so he just goes wherever. Okay. It kind of just gives him freedom that he doesn't have to stay home every day and take care of special needs. Yeah. It's like an excuse. <laughs> right? So I've done that myself for the yeah. last seven years. Anyway. And I was a single mom before I married him with my two kids. Yeah. And he had two kids. We got married, tried to make a family. You yeah. Know, how it goes. Anyway. So he said he was coming last night. I said, well, you can't stay at this house because you can't get along with Tylee. And I'll get you a hotel and you can come play with JJ. But he goes to school all day. Yeah. I got him back into his school. His services, I met with the DDD yesterday, and they finally are getting his services back. But we're paying $125 a day to have him back at school because he's so out of his routine. He's been yeah. a nightmare on the floor, kicking stuff, hitting stuff, walls. Like, he just ripped him out of his life. Yeah. So, anyway, just how he is because he only thinks about himself. Mm -hmm. so. He says, come to get JJ. And JJ's like, I don't want Dad because he knows Dad took him away. So he was freaking out, okay. right? So I didn't tell him he was even coming, like Dad's going to come take you to school or anything. So he didn't bother me last night, which I was surprised. I was expecting kind of an ambush for him uh -huh. to kind of like come over or uh -huh. be just mean uh -huh. and say, that's my house. I'm on the lease. I'm going to stay here kind uh -huh. of thing because that's kind of his macho attitude. Uh -huh. And so... He came this morning. I was getting JJ ready. So he school. got in last night, yeah. but he wasn't at the house last night. Yeah, I didn't hear from him. Except okay. for he texted me and said, I'll be there at 7.30 to pick up JJ. Okay. And I was like, okay. That was good. I didn't hear from him. And then he, um, he came over in the morning and he's like banging on the door. I'm like, oh great, here we go, you know. And I was just going to be nice. I'm just going to be nice as possible. And I had JJ stuff all ready for school. And so. Do you remember about what time he got there? Um, he said he'd be there at 7.30, but it was more like 7.40-ish okay. or 7.35, I don't know. Okay. But I remember thinking, looking at the clock, and he was at that 7.30. And he's usually Mr. Yeah. Punctual. Yes. So I was like, okay. And then JJ was like, oh, Dad. And then he was like, Mommy, and like ran to me. I was like holding me. He's like, You're not taking me to school. <laughs> and I was like, It's okay, Dad. I can just drive you to school. It's not yeah. a big deal. You know, I'm just trying to make it whatever. Calm. Yeah, calm. And then um, he was just being real smirky and real like jerky, you know, to me. And I was like, Ignoring him, whatever. And so he was like, I'm like, your brother lives there with you? No. Okay. He had stayed with me last night because I was worried he was going to come over and okay. cause trouble with me. Okay. And just wanted someone else there, like my <laughs> brother there, because I trust my brother. And it, it's been a long story. Like, I had to go live at my brother's when he took JJ. And, you know, he's just been difficult. So, yeah. anyway. Um... So I got Jada's stuff ready, I got, and he was like, well, and he's like this about timing, he's like, I'm leaving in 20 minutes, because it's like 15 minutes to the school, and like, you can't get there early, they don't open the gates until 8.20 or something like that, and I said, well, why don't you just go now, I don't want him in the house, I'm like, why don't you just go now and um, 
take him to Burger King because that's what he likes for breakfast. And yeah. He's very particular about food. Yeah. Like, he wanted chicken fries for yeah. breakfast and this right. Like, <laughs> and I just get what he wants because if you don't get what he wants, then it's like on the floor screaming, dragging him into school. Like, yeah. And he's big and he's heavy and yeah. it's hard for me to handle. But anyway, so I said, just go. And so he said, okay. So I gave him a backpack. He got in the car. This is his MO, right? He always leaves something in the house and comes back. He never leaves the first time. I always expect my husband to come back into the house, right? So I guess he had left his phone on the counter. So he initially left with the backpack and with JJ? And so he put them in the car okay. in the driveway, and then he came back in, right? So I kissed JJ goodbye. He came back in, and his phone was on the counter, and I had his phone. And he was, like, giving me my phone, and I was like, why don't you show me your text that you've been texting, blah, 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 you know, whatever. Because he's like acting really weird like he's plotting something against me like I'm like why are you why are you even here like what did you come here for you know he's been talking to my other brother and my brother came into town at the same time last mm -hmm. night and I haven't talked to my brother in a while my other brother and I was like and so he was texting him on the phone when he first got to my house and I'm like why are you texting Adam like do you even talk to him like my other brother and um you know, he's been telling me all these texts, like, you're going down, blah, 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 blah. He's blaming me for our marriage breaking up and my niece getting divorced and my friend getting divorced. He said, I'm going to destroy your own families okay. because I want everybody to get divorced. I'm like, what would my motivation be for people getting divorced so I could babysit the kids more? Like, yeah. why would I have any control over what people do? Yeah. <laughs> so it's just very odd. But anyway... He goes, he goes nuts. He's gone nuts on us a lot of times. Tyler and I have had to leave with JJ over the years, probably five times, and just stay in a hotel for two days because he goes nuts. Like, you don't know what's going to set him off. Like, whatever. And she's mad at me for always, like, going back. But we had JJ, and he's special needs, and it's really hard. Like, yeah. it's even harder to get rid of it. So when you say he goes nuts, that means, that can mean a lot of different things. Right. So... Goes nuts like yelling and screaming. Yeah, goes yelling nuts, and screaming. Like, breaking like, things. Yes. Goes nuts like physical violence. He's never really, besides like grabbing us and pushing us, but not like punching okay. us or something. But he, with Tylee, he has gotten physical okay. before. And with my grown son. Like physical how? Like got into a physical fist fight with my son when he was 16. Okay. And he came after Tylee um, two times in Hawaii. Okay. And like went like he was gonna hit her, but then I got in between them. Uh -huh. Right. How old was she when that happened? Um, probably fourteen, thirteen, and fourteen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. So this morning he comes back in and he comes back in. I went give him his phone. He was screaming at me to give him his phone. He was very worried about whatever was on his text mm -hmm. that he did not want me to see, and so I was just holding it there, and he was screaming at me. And I was kind of walking towards around the house with it so he couldn't get it. He's like reaching for it and stuff like that. And so Tylee came out of her room upset mm -hmm. and she had a bat and she told him to leave her mother alone, like, mm -hmm. right? So she was really whatever. And he's screaming at her, Don't you hit me with that bat? Blah, 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 blah. And then my brother heard all the commotion because he was in there in bed. And so he came out into the main room and, um, I guess whatever. What's your brother's name? Alex. Alex, okay. Mm -hmm. And then um, he just started, he was screaming and he was super upset and whatever and um, he was yelling at Tylee, don't you shut me with that bad and blah, blah, blah. And so Tylee, I guess, I don't know if she swung at him or what, but he like grabbed the bat from Tylee and then went to like hit Tylee with the bat. It was and I was right there, they were right there, and my brother grabbed him from behind, mm -hmm. like, just to stop him from hitting Tylee. You go like this, like, he grabbed him, like... Yeah, from behind, like, uh -huh. just kind of to pull him back. Uh -huh. And then um, they got into the thing, and he's hitting him with the bat, and they're on the ground, like, grappling around or whatever. And then, um, I mean, I was all... And he... Quickly. <laughs> and he hit your brother with the bat while they were grappling and stuff? Yeah, I, yes, he was hitting him with the bat, like swinging the bat, you know, back and forth, and they were kind of like on the ground, and I was like freaking out trying to go around, knowing JJ was in the car, Yeah. right, and so then he got up, and he had the bat like this towards me, and I was going around the other side to try to just get out of his range where mm -hmm. he couldn't hit me, and then, um, 
I had told Tylee, because she was on the ground, because after he took the bat from her, she fell back. And so I told her, I was like, go get in the car with JJ. Like, I don't want JJ coming in to the house. or, mm-hmm. And I wanted her out of the way. I wanted the kids out of the way, whatever this fight was going to be. And then... Um, Do you remember what your, your husband or your brother were saying or yelling during all of this? If they were at just all? Just kind of get off me, ow, or whatever, you know, whatever. They were like, like, don't talk to my niece about whatever. Yeah. <laughs> whatever, like, it was, I don't remember specifics, but they were kind of both, they were kind of in the heat of it. I don't think there was much, many words, many words. that I remember. Mm-hmm. So Tylee goes outside. Yeah, she was outside. And, and then what happened? Then he, they got up from that, and my brother had, like, stepped back, I guess, and, um, then Charles was coming with me at the back and yelling at me to give him his phone mm-hmm. still because I had it in my hand. It was all really quickly. Mm-hmm. And then um, when I went around kind of in the circle, then my brother was there. Um, when you said he, when you were going around and he was coming at you with the bat, mm-hmm. how was he holding the bat? Just like that, like backwards. Like he was swinging, but like swinging it backwards. He would have done like like he would have swung it backwards at me, not frontwards. Okay, yeah. Like he had he was a base, professional baseball player. Okay, <laughs> so it wasn't a good idea for Tyler to get out of that. <laughs> Probably not the. I mean, he played semi-pro. Yeah, when he was young. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's kind of turned around. And we were all right there in that room, except for the kids had been outside by that time, and I heard the gunshot. Mm-hmm. And so you heard the shot. Mm-hmm. Did did you actually see see the shot, or did you just hear it? I had gone around mm-hmm. to the kitchen to get away from him, and so back around. So I don't know if you went in the house. I didn't, so I'm like so, a little bit of a disadvantage. Yeah. So. I didn't see when, I didn't see the shot, I heard it, and then I came back around and I saw that he was on the ground, okay. and I was freaking out, yeah. and so I was just freaking out, and it just went into mom mode, I'm like, I've got to go to get JJ to school, I've got to get to the kids, I just felt like, i got to get to the kids, mm-hmm. and so I just went outside and to see if they were in there, okay, I didn't want them coming back in the house when all that was going on, and, and um, got Gigi in the car and he was trying to come in mm-hmm. and Tylee was like looking at me with like the crazy eyes like what just happened and I told her to get in the car and we're going to take Gigi to school mm-hmm. and I just left. When you came back in and you saw him on the ground where was your brother? Did you see him where he was at? Yeah he was right in front of him. Okay. Like it all happened very quickly. That right. was, I mean I was I feel like I was there because I was right there like yeah. a second later. Like, okay. I just went around the kitchen to get away from him. Did your brother say anything to you at all? Do you remember? No, we were both just in shock. Okay. Like, it was just a, I mean, I didn't say anything. I went out with the kids just to check on them first, and I was going to come back in maybe, uh-huh. but I didn't. I was like, I just have to get him to school okay. and call the police and come back, you know. <laughs> Whatever. Did anybody say any? Did you, you or your brother say anything at some point about calling the police or calling nine one one? Do you remember? Yeah, he called me. Okay. And he said, "Are you taking Gigi to school?" Uh-huh. And I said, "Yeah, we need to call the police." And he okay. said, "Okay." Okay. So you he called you when you didn't come back inside, basically. Right. Okay. Because I was like in the car for a minute, and then I was like, "What do I do?" Mm-hmm. And I need you know, I didn't want Gigi to go inside, and I didn't. Okay. I didn't know what to do, and Tyler was freaking out. I was yeah. trying to get them away from the scene. Understandable. Mm-hmm. Um, do you? I don't, and you may not know this. Mm-hmm. So, because I know you heard the shot, do you know at what point your brother had the gun? Do you know if he had it when they got in their first fight, or did he have to go get it, or do you do you know that at all? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. And do you remember if you ever heard your brother? I didn't see him ever leave the room. Okay. So, 
And but it was so fast. All that was so fast. Like yeah. him on the ground rolling around and I'm screaming and this probably happened in a couple seconds. Yeah. I mean it was like super fast. Um and I don't know if you know this or not, does your brother normally carry a gun? Like, I carry a gun everywhere I go. Right. Like, so, I know he's a gun person. Like, okay. he has guns and things. And okay. He's did you, with guns. <laughs> did you know that he had one with him? No. When he came over? No. But okay. I wouldn't be surprised if he did. Because okay. he's very, very professional with guns. Proficient. Professional. <laughs> um, I, responsible is usually a good thing. Right. Guy, but a I'm responsible with guns. Um, okay. And then, do you remember if uh, at any time, so you were trying to get away from him, right. and you heard the shot. Prior to the shot, do you remember at any point hearing your husband or your brother saying anything to any either of them? No. Um, so my second very ridiculous question mm -hmm. is, is there anything else that I didn't ask about or anything that we didn't cover that you think is important? Um, I always ask that just because I wasn't there and so we're, we're right, going through right. something that happened right. in a super small amount of time. Yes. Can I so, <laughs> yeah, go for it. Just thinking. Mm -hmm. Just that, um, he was just so angry, like super scary. Did you, you know how you take your phone away from like a 16 year old uh -huh. and they freak out? Uh -huh. Like f their world disintegrates. Like I've taken my phone away from a 16 year old boy before and uh -huh. he like, it's like wanting to kill itself because yeah. like they cannot function. That's how it was. It was like, is something on his phone that he does not want me to see that uh -huh. he was like freaking out, mm -hmm. like to the point where I thought he would hit me in the back of the head to get the phone. Okay. So you thought, and not I don't want to put words in your mouth, but um, you thought it was possible that he was going to hurt you. Absolutely, he was going to hurt me and okay. Tylee. Okay. Not JJ, he would never hurt JJ. Okay. And he hurt my brother. Like, yeah. He, he was going, like, ballistic about... It was bad. Okay. Um, I'm going to go talk to her real quick. Okay. Um, and then if, obviously, you know, we'll be here for a little bit. Hopefully not too much longer. Um, but if you think of anything or there's anything that kind of pops in your head or something else that we didn't cover, obviously. Um, so I'm going to go talk to her for just a little bit and then I'll kind of come back and check with you and then um, we'll kind of go from there. So I know um, my partner's talking to your brother over in one of the other interview rooms. Um, so we're going to just try to get, you know, as much done as we can and go from there. Okay. Okay. And then... Um, is there anybody that you need to call or anything, or you want to wait a little bit? I don't know what I would say. No. And wait a little bit. We'll see. Yeah. Um, I don't know what I would say. And if you want to, you can think about it. So um, we do have um, victim services um, that work within the police department. They're right over here. They're not cops. They're civilians. Um, and they do, um, Jessica, who was out there with the fire department, so they're kind of our crisis response. They come right away. Mm -hmm. So our victim services that work in the department are kind of more long-term um, type support system. So um, they're just a really good resource because they do a lot of stuff with our families and things like that and can help with support services and questions you might have. She's been through so much. So it might be, it might be a good idea. I just idea. can't stand for her to have to go through all this. Yeah. It might be a good idea maybe before you, I take you guys back today that I get one of them to come in and maybe sit and talk with you guys and see. And it's not something they, there's a bunch of stuff they can, 
you know, offer, but it's good to have a contact and like a name and a face and a phone right. number. Okay. You know, that way maybe a couple days from now, a week from now, or if there's something going on or you think you need help with something, it may not be something that's necessarily up like me and my partner's alley, but it very much well may be up theirs. Um, so I'd like for you to meet one of them um, before we leave. That way, hopefully, it's if there's something that they can help you and your daughter with, they can, or even JJ or whatever else. Right. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I thought about him. <laughs> yeah. So. I mean, he's used to him not being there, but he wouldn't understand even if you told him. Right. Like, that somebody passed away, he doesn't understand what, what that, that means. means. Well, I mean, it's hard at seven to understand that. Anyway, anyway, that's true. But with him, he just doesn't. Which yeah. is probably better because he doesn't comprehend things. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. It's just, yeah, it's a lot to think about. Yeah. So let me go uh, find one of them, and then uh, we'll make sure that you guys get to meet with them before you leave, because um, that might be something very helpful for you guys. And I'm going to go speak with your daughter for just a little bit, and we'll kind of go from there. Okay. okay? And if you need anything, let me know, okay? Okay.
I like your daughter a lot. She's fun. Yeah. Um, so one of the victim services, Denise, is here. Um, so I kind of told her just a little bit of what happened. Okay. So if you're good with it, I'm going to have her come over and I'm going to introduce her to you guys so you guys can talk for a little bit, um, which kind of works well too because I need to run over to where my partner's at and just talk to him a little bit. Um, that way you guys will have a little bit, hopefully, extra support if you need it. So I'm going to go grab Denise real fast and then okay. introduce you guys. Okay. Okay. So this is Denise. Hi. Um, hi. 
<laughs> so she's gonna um, take you over to like a conference room so you guys can sit and talk and stuff and then you can just once you guys talk and kind of you can decide if you're comfortable with Tylee coming in or whatever okay, sure. um, and then we'll, we'll I just don't want her to be left alone and yeah, by herself yeah. she's freaking out so I, we keep kind of popping in and checking on her and stuff. I just don't so. want to be alone too long. Yeah. We'll, be as, we'll be as brief for as long as you want, okay? okay. I'm here to, to try to, you got lots of choices. <laughs> we'll, we'll just get started and then we'll, you know, then we'll, we'll go from there. Does that sound okay? Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. They handed me this, but that was, was just out oh. of his rental card. <laughs> we tend to do strange things sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> 